that Saul, he offers a sacrifice unto the Lord that he shouldn't. He should have waited for Samuel the prophet to come. We see he wasn't trusting in the Lord. He got nervous. He was, the, you know, Samuel was tearing. It had been like past seven days. Samuel's not coming. The people are leaving. He's getting real nervous. So he has to make some man-made effort to try and draw the people in. Yeah. And isn't that what churches do today? They have the, the, the flocks leaving the church. They can't, you know, rise the people. So what do they do? They come up with some man-made way to bring the people in. They're not the Lord's way. Not through the Bible. Not through preaching. Not through worshiping God with truth and in spirit. But they try to give the gimmicks. Hey, let's just, you know, let's show a movie right. for the service. <laughs> I mean, I, I literally grew up in a church where during the summer, people would just leave by the droves. I mean, during the summer, nobody came to church. I mean, we're talking, I mean, I, th I think the church had about 10,000 people in total. And they had about three services where it would be about 3,000 people or so in each service. But in the summer, it would be like 1,000. I mean, we're talking just like tons of people not being there. So, like, we got to come up with a way to get people in church. So they would literally show Hollywood movies for the church service. Like Iron Man, like, uh, like Captain Whoa. Phillip, like Despicable Me. Whoa. I mean, they brought in the popcorn. They brought in the billboards. Like you have your face cut out and you're like a superhero or whatever. You can take pictures. I mean, it was like, what in the world? <laughs> and now I wasn't, you know, I didn't believe a lot of the things I did back then. But I even knew that was wicked. I was like, hey, if they want to do this on their own time, whatever. You know, okay, I'm not going to stand in judgment of that. But when you're replacing church with a gimmick, when you're replacing church with a movie. One, two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. What's up with the big popcorn and drink? Man, it's at the movies. You can't have at the movies without a popcorn and a Coke. Man, you read your bulletin? It starts June 11th and 12th. Man. Can you believe that guy? He thought at the movies was this weekend. <laughs> Just fake. I mean, people, they want to go to the movies, they're going to go to the real thing. Right. They're going to go see a real movie that they really want to see. They're not going to see these old movies that everybody's already seen. And they, like, chopped it up, and then they have, like, a little bit of commentary and try to make it biblical. Yeah. I mean, it just, it just ruined it for both people. I mean, the guy that came that was, like, excited to watch the movie, yeah. he's like, oh, you ruined it with all this stupid commentary. <laughs> and the person that actually believes the Bible, they're like, why are you watching this stupid, wicked movie right. with sodomites in the movie? The guy who was the, the, the main star was of Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. He's a sodomite. He's a faggot. And you're going to put him on the screen and say, hey, let's learn from God's you know, word. They weren't learning Genesis 19. Right. They weren't learning Judges 19. They weren't teaching them Romans 1. No, they're liking this guy unto Christ. How wicked. How evil. The gimmick. We see Samuel gets really mad at Saul when he offers this wicked sacrifice. You've got to do it God's way. Or otherwise, you're not going to have the blessing. Okay, so we won't throw anything at you, but we will promise you a movie experience that will have you thinking outside the box office. Bring your friends beginning June 10th and 11th, and don't miss At the Movies. No church members were harmed during the making of this commercial.